and welcome to Vitality Lab. Today, we are running through a full body circuit using a single plate. We have four exercises. We're gonna start on the ground with a floor press, then we'll stand up for heels elevated squat, then bicep curl and alternating plate halos. We're gonna go for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, three times through for a total of 12 minutes. So grab a towel, grab a water, and grab a plate. Let's get after it. All right, team, we are gonna get started in 10 seconds with that floor press. So we'll grab our plate back flat on the ground, engaging the lats, and we will push that plate straight up into the air. This is our floor chest press. We will go for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Control. All right, next we are standing up. We have heels elevated squat. So we'll put our plate on the ground and elevate our heels, dropping down for that squat. We have 30 seconds. You want about mid foot on the plate. And we're just going to drop down to a comfortable depth. Challenging, comfortable for you. Here we go. 30 seconds. You will feel this more in your quads than you would a typical squat. bicep curl. So we will pick up our plate and we will essentially be doing a hammer curl and that is palms facing each other. So we'll get into a nice stance, feet about shoulder width apart, keeping the core nice and tight. We don't want any rib cage flaring. Tuck the tailbone, stack the ribs over the hips. We are bicep curling. We also want full arm extension at the base. Now if you do not have access to a plate, a single dumbbell is fine and just hold it on either end. Keep holding our plate and we have alternating plate halos. So that plate is going to go right in front of your eyes and we're going to circle it behind the head making a halo. Then we will go to the opposite side wanting to keep those elbows nice and high the whole time. Okay. So we'll give a second shake it out for the remainder of our rest. Here we go. Alternating plate halos. Again, we want to make sure that the rib cage does not flare out here. So tuck the tailbone, make sure that the rib cage is stacked over top of your hips. have two more to go so we will lay back onto the ground and get reset for the chest press now when I said to engage your lats your lats are the muscle that cover all right here on your back so what you will do is squeeze them when you are on the ground and that will create just a small arch in your back what that does is it prevents us from using too much of the anterior deltoid when we are pressing.
team, keep it up. All right, next, we are standing up for this heel elevated squat. So again, putting the plate flat on the ground and about mid foot is going to be on the plate. Then we will drop down to a comfortable but challenging depth for you. We do wanna to try to keep the torso upright. Now caving forward. Here we go. Heel elevated squats. We still want to push fully through both feet, even though those heels are elevated. picking up the plate for those bicep curls. So getting a nice base, just slightly wider than shoulder width, getting full arm extension, filling it up to the collarbone, then coming straight back down. Good. No arching of the lower back, no ribcage flare. Tuck them, keep them stacked. Engage your core. Here we go. Bicep curls. Exhaling as you are raising up. Inhale as you are lowering. Ooh. All right, next we have those plate halos. So getting a nice stance. Again, no rib cage flare, keep it tucked. Keep the core engaged, and we are going to go around the head, making a halo with that plate. Alternating on each side, not rushing through, really feeling that range of motion there. Getting set. All right. Alternating plate halos, making sure that plate comes right in front of the eyes, forehead, when it's back to the starting position. Making sure that the shoulders are not up in the ears either. All right, that was round two. One more to go. Getting back on the ground for the floor press. This time, I want you to just try to slowly lower on all of these. That is going to add a little bit more difficulty as it is controlling on the negative. Here we go. Standing up, we have the heel elevated squats. So, plate on the ground, midfoot and heels are on that plate. Then, dropping down to a challenging but doable depth for you. Right. You wanna take these nice and slow as well. Dropping down.
lifting up that plate, we have those bicep curls. So again, this is a hammer curl. So our hands, palms will be facing each other. Arms reaching full extension at the base, coming up, meeting our collarbone at the top. Keeping the core nice and engaged. No loose lower backs. Getting set. Here we go. Feel like a little bit more difficulty. Just slowly lower on that. Time under tension to the muscle, a little bit greater stress. All right, final exercise we have the alternating plate halos. So, again, plate starting in front of the eyes, and we're going to rotate around the head, making a halo, and then going to the other side, making sure those elbows stay nice and high, shaking it out. This is our last 30 seconds. Getting set. Here we go. Remember, core nice and tight. No rib cage flare. Keeping the elbows high. This exercise is great for shoulder mobility. All right, team, great job today. We just did some work on a plate. Now I want you to go do some work on a plate of food. Wash it down with a couple glasses of water and get some rest, and then we'll meet back here in the lab when you're ready for your next workout. And be sure to check out the Vitality Lab channel to see all of our workouts in full in the meantime. Thank you again for supporting the channel. Thank you for subscribing and liking the videos. It is currently the best and only way to support me and the channel. So I really appreciate it. And also, leave us a comment. Let us know what equipment you have in your home or what you're working with. And we'll try to do a video that is best for you. And as always, do good, stay vital.